Hey, hey, YouTube. So, oh my God, a banana here for a video. This time I won't be showing you um, how to play a champion, but I'll be showing you how I make my videos. So, first of all, I use Adobe Premiere Pro, which is a great program. You can get it online for free if you torrent it. Um, unfortunately, you should not do it. You should just buy it, but I'm not going to show you how since it's illegal and also Photoshop as well. But I bought the student version. It was pretty cheap, so whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, so, I'm going to start by creating a new project. Um, actually, I'll just show you how to do that. I already skipped a step since it's my second try Second try at doing the project. So I'm going to do a new project. It's going to ask me these questions. I'm going to go HDV because I want it to go 1080p and not just high quality because that's what I used to do with my older videos, which kind of sucks that they're not high definitions and I lost pretty much all the footage for them. So I'll just call it try underscore two. Why? Because I already um, made one. For, but I forgot to record. Yeah, fail. Uh, laugh at all you want, whatever. Okay, so basically here is the page where you select your settings for what you want. You're going to look at the resolution, the 1080p if you want that, if you want 720. Um, last game I did a Dominion. If they're usually over 15 minutes, I don't do 1080p simply because it takes over 8 hours to upload since I have crap internet. But that doesn't matter. So if you can see the frame size here, it's 1280 by 720. My screen is 1920 by 1080. So I will be going for something a little bigger, such as this one. This is the, usually the one I use. As you see, it's 1080i. Doesn't matter because when I export, uh, I export it in 1080p settings, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to click OK, and it's going to give me the main page. So this is the screen where I drag all my footages from, um, from here. Um, I'll show you a bit later, but yeah, let's say I grab, uh, I don't know, this one. I choose you. This is my Dominion footage. Um, each footage is about a minute and takes about four gigs of space because it's 1080p. It's huge footage from Fraps, so you're going to need Fraps to record stuff. So let's say I want to choose, I don't know, um, uh, this setting right here. All right, so oh, I'm going to click here, mark in. And let's say I want to start okay, recording. I will click oh, right baby. Here. So right now I selected this area right here and I'm going to click on it on the screen and I'm going to drag it all the way here. This is my video slot and right under is the audio slot. There's three video slots. You can add more if you'd like, but three should be necessary for what I'm going to show you guys what to do. And you have three audio tracks. So basically video one is my League of Legends footage. Video 2 is usually my images that pop up over the video footage. And video 3, well, I don't really use it, but sometimes I have three images that overlap. So that's why I have three video things. Um, there's three audio slots as well. One audio is for the video of the League of Legends. I usually mute that if there's people talking like right now in the background. So I just click this and put it to minus infinity decibels, which would be absolutely muted. Um, if I were to do this for the others, it would be here where I hear my voice. I usually boost that up since my microphone isn't that loud, but um, sometimes it is. Depends on the day. Maybe it's just me when I talk. Um, a little bit off track, so we've got to keep on track right now. Audio 3 is where I put my music usually, um, and I'll show you guys how to do that in a bit. So basically, this is where, where I take all my footage, and if you see on the screen right here is what it would look like when it's published. If you want to make it smaller, you can, but... I'm not going to touch that because right now it's a perfect resolution and I was recording at 1920 by 1080, sorry, which is a screen of, which is the resolution of my screen and that's the resolution of the video, so it's perfect. Um, you're going to have to watch that when you're recording. Sometimes I go in windowed mode, so I have to do different settings. Anyways, I'm talking a lot for no reason. So let's say I want to drag another video. Once again, you just select whatever. I don't really care to be honest where it is. Cool, we won. Drag it in. Okay. Should I get a little more footage? Why Why not? Just for the shits and giggles. So, whoops, put that all the way there, select, drag. Okay, so now I have like one minute. This is your timeline. You can make your timeline bigger or smaller if you'd like. With this button right here, see now it's like a little more bigger and this little smaller. I usually put it about this big because I can see generally how big it is. So when I do my intro, I'm not going to show you my intro that I made in After Effects because simply it took me a long time I was watching YouTube videos to see how to do it because I'm not very good in After Effects but this is what it is um, when I'm in my intro if you note I made a big mistake uh, I left a black screen for a few seconds which is kinda noobish but I usually edit it every time start here 
go all the way here and stop and then I'm gonna drag it over here like I did but if you notice it's not the same resolution as if you play it because I was noob and I didn't look at the resolution so every time I make a video I gotta make this a little bigger which kinda loses the quality which is why it's a little blurry but whatever it's all good uh, I'm gonna stick this together actually no I'm gonna leave a gap because I'm gonna go in Photoshop and create my thing I'm just gonna tell this guy just to wait and he's gonna laugh because he's gonna watch this later and be like oh look at that <laughs> I was on your video so I'm gonna go in Photoshop create a new file because I'm going to do my page as a champion as you usually see like oh my god a banana does this commentary um, so my resolution is 1920 by 1080 so I'm gonna create that creates a white page I'm gonna go on the internet and grab let's say I was doing an Evelyn commentary I'm gonna click on this image because I like it I'm going to copy it, I'm going to do Photoshop and paste it. I'm going to go in the corner, make it a little bigger. I might do a Photoshop tutorial, by the way, for you guys, maybe a little later in a few weeks maybe, but this is just pretty much to show you the editing. Um, I don't know why I wanted to save, I didn't even do the title. <clears throat> um, I got a banana, Evelyn Commentary. So I'm going to drag that here, and usually most titles you see on YouTube are that boring, but I am a little bit artistic, so I like to click on the layer and add a bit of 3D, look at that. Just a bit of more seconds and makes it look even better, doesn't it? Okay, now outer glow, I'm going to go a little, go a little less opaque, oh, I did not want to do that. It's the outer glow I wanted to do, there you go, a little white, a little, not too big. And then stroke. I usually go the color, the awkward color. So this, and I'm going to save. See, that took me what, like a minute. I'm going to save it as a bitmap and not a Photoshop, simply because I do not. You, well, I just rather have a bitmap that would then a Photoshop format inside the Premiere Pro. So I'm going to show you how to drag it in. So you're going to go wherever you saved it. Um, where did I save it? I'm not even sure. I'm just saving it random places. So make sure you do save it at the right place. I'm pretty sure I've saved it here. I called it here, and then I'm going to click on it, and this is what it's going to display. It's already the right resolution right for the video because I made it 1920 by 1080. And I'm going to drag the image. I need to go a little bigger because I can't get it, and drag it all the way there so it fills a good gap. So now I'm going to show you what I say when I record, right? So to record your voice, you're going to go in Audio Mixer right here. And you're going to select the track that you want to audio. I usually do audio 2 as my voice and audio 3 as music, right? So I'm going to enable the audio 2 track. And then it's using your microphone that whatever you're using meets my headset. And you're going to click the record button. And I usually turn off my earphones when I talk because it repeats what you're saying. And then it's really echoey. And then you get confused at what you're saying. And that's why sometimes my videos I make no sense because I'm just hearing myself. And I'm like, wow, I sound retarded. So basically, I'm just going to... Mute my microphone, mute my headphones. So I make sense what I say, so I'm gonna mute it. And now I'm just talking. Oh, I'm just blah, talking. Blah, 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 you can blah, probably blah, hear myself probably echoing, echoing in the echoing video because you, you hear it in um, the Camtasia, um, the, the Camtasia, Camtasia, the Procore right, right now, and in, and Premiere, and Pro. in Premiere, Pro. Premiere Pro. So now I'm gonna stop so recording. Gonna stop rec Turn my headphones back on so I can hear myself when I play like this. I'm just talking. And blah blah blah. You can probably hear myself echoing. So right now I'm hearing myself talking, which is very annoying. Because now you guys are probably like, whoa, there's two Chris's or two bananas everywhere. Anyways, so basically, um, I would do my intro and blah, 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 do all that stuff. Um, I would usually lower the um, audio of this video to minus, one, uh, minus infinity decibels. So it's muted because there's a lot of talking when I'm playing. If there's no talking, it's just a League of Legends video. I just dim it down to minus 22 if I can find it doesn't matter really um, the audio I usually do minus 17 minus 22 it doesn't really matter um, let's say you want to make a video slow motion right so let's look at this video is there something I want to make slow motion uh, it's not really good footage but let's say I want this part slow motion at the right here you have your tools you can always customize where you want this right but I'm just gonna leave it here because I'm used to having it there you're gonna use the, the razor tool you're gonna click it here and you're gonna break the thing in apart, right? So basically, what you're doing is you're breaking the 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 clip, right? That used to be one piece, now it's two pieces. And you're gonna select at the end of where you want the slow motion to end. So let's say it was here. 
I would click the razor tool again and click it right here. So I'm going to select the tool. I'm going to separate it so I can have a bit of space and make it last longer. So I'm going to right click speed duration and then you're going to go the percent. Right now 100% is normal speed, right? So if I go 40%, what would it be? Would it be faster or slower? Slower, right? Because you're going 40% speed. So that would make it 11 seconds. So if you're going to watch it, you would hear my voice and be like, slow motion, right? Which is pretty cool, but it's kind of annoying. So you'd have to mute that. So now I'm going to put these clips back together. And as you see, they loop well together because there's no split frames. Yes. <laughs> so let's see again. It was slow motion. And then it's going to go back to regular speed. It's like in a movie in slow motion. Anyways, so now... I'm going to show you how I put my ability sequence in items, right? Um, that's a little more complicated, but really not, because most people don't know how to do it, but Premiere Pro pretty much does it for you. It's really simple. So I'm going to go in Photoshop, and I'm going to um, open a, um, a thing that's already made for items because I simply takes a while to make. So I'm just going to go in Brand, uh, Open Items. Oh, no, that's a disgusting item page. Sorry. That's like the old school way. I'm going to go look at Annie because I know Annie is a good, a good way of items. So I'm going to go items Annie. So here's what the items look like. They look very blurry, right? But they're really not because they're really smaller compared to the size in the video. So you usually go in Google and you type whatever. Let's say I wanted uh, Rabadin's death cap. Uh, okay. I need to specify it's League of Legends. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, I went to large icons. Okay. Now I'm going to copy it and go into Photoshop. Take the image, which is right here. And let's say I put it over Robotin's Death Cap because that's what it is. And I would just do free transform. Hold shift so you don't lose the like uh, size of the image. If I wasn't holding shift, you'd be going like this, right? So I'm going to cancel that and just hold shift and go to the size of the image and double click so now it's done but I'm not gonna save since I already have this saved somewhere um, now I'm gonna show you how to import it so it's the same thing as the movies you just drag it and bring it um, I'm gonna go documents where it's saved lol videos any any items so I'm going to click and bring it to Premiere Pro so here's the image I'm going to drag it onto video slot 2 why because video slot one is your video and video slot two. So if you look, that's where the item is. And you're like, oh my god, a banana. What's it doing in the middle of the screen? So that's where usually people are like, oh, I don't know how to do this. Well, it's pretty simple. You just click it, drag it, put it smaller if you want. I'll put it a little more here so I can show you guys when I'm playing. Usually I put it at the taskbar right here so you guys can see the footage. Or I can put it here, whatever, wherever you want. You just put it, right? So it doesn't really matter. You leave it there. And then you do this to choose how long you want it. So let's say I was talking and I was going, okay, blah, blah, blah. This is the items that blah, 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 that blah, blah, blah. And you hear and me echoey. You hear me echoey. I hate it. I'm going to stop it. it. I'm going to stop. Anyways, so basically I would say my build and then I would stop the recording and put it exactly where the recording ends so it matches up here. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do runes and masteries. So I usually go in my lol clang. Uh... Okay, so I go in my profile, and I'm going to go under runes and select whatever page I'm going to do. So I usually go, let's say, caster, make it a little bigger, and press print screen on your keyboard, which is in northeast from your backspace button. Well, on my keyboard, that's for sure. Um, and then you're going to go in Photoshop, create a new file, and you see it print screened. So I'm going to select the area I want, which is here. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to delete this because I don't want it. I'm going to paste it. Put it in the corner. Oopsies. Put it in the corner. And I'm going to put it the full size of the white. So it's 1920 by 1080. I'm going to save file. Put it as a bitmap. Just like anything else before. Well, I'll save. I'm not going to do it because I don't need it. And then I would drag it onto the Premiere Pro. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm just going to take Annie's Masteries and runes so that's the same thing for runes and masteries that's what I do let's say I wanted to put them here I just drag them into the video slot the reason I don't put it on the other the video 2 slot 
is because if they're going to overlap like this and you're not going to be able to see anything, right? Which is not what you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel that and put it right here. So right when it's done playing the video, it plays this masteries and then I re record my voice and do the same thing as items end it when I'm done talking about that. Um, so basically, um, when you go to, s this is pretty much all you need to know to make videos. And when you go to s export it, make sure you export it in, I'll show you. You go, oh sorry, I'll just show you. You go file, export, media. And then you select the format Windows Media. I used to do AVI, and the video used to be four times bigger. So let's say um, my videos I usually upload that are 10 minutes or 600 megabytes, it would be like, I don't know, like 2.4 gigs, which would take like 12 hours to upload, and half the time would break. So I'd like scream and be like, ah, it broke. So basically, Windows Media saves your life, which is awesome. Um, you're going to go 1080p, 30 frames per second at high quality, which is what I usually go if their videos are under 10 minutes. If they're over 10 minutes, like games, I go um, probably something like this, simply because it redu reduces this file size. See, it was 100 and something megabytes, now it's 65. You lose your frames and you lose quality, but um, most people don't watch YouTube at 1080p, but for the ones that do, I do put it 1080p. Um, and then basically, since it's a small video, I will do 1080p. 30 high quality and then just to double check you can look through videos make sure you have everything and then you would just do export and then you'd save it right um, but I'm not gonna do that since it's a crap video and I'm just showing you guys how to do it so I'm gonna cancel I'm gonna close everything up and I'm gonna go on my channel and thank everyone that has been subscribed to me since the beginning or that just joined now thank you for your support i really appreciate it i'm at 120 uh, 220 subscribers which isn't bad so i might do a um more detailed photoshop um tutorial if you guys want and then uh you guys will have uh cooler stuff to do or even after effects to show you how i did my intro it's a little more complicated but this was all oh I got a banana to show you how to make my videos. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you. Have a nice day.